Hello, hello! So if you're not following me on Instagram, which you should, by the way, if you're not, you're probably very confused why I'm posting this video instead of the 24-hour bracelet challenge. I was gonna post the 24-hour bracelet challenge, but stuff got in the way. Russia is shutting down its borders with all countries, which it did previously for non-nationals, but I am a national, so I could fly if I wanted to, not anymore. And as you know, I did have a flight booked, it got cancelled, so I'm pretty much in the situation where I'm now stuck here without my flatmate because he left, so stuck here alone for god knows how long, and that's just not a very pleasant situation to be in. Quarantine is very, very difficult for everyone, but going through it alone is just something I really don't want to do. So my mom actually managed to find an emergency flight for me right before the borders close, which was very expensive to the point where I literally couldn't afford to purchase it, so I'm very glad that she was able to lend me some money to pay for that flight. So now, instead of doing the 24 hour bracelet challenge, I am packing my things to go to Moscow for however long. I'm essentially moving to Moscow for probably multiple months. All that to say, I did 15 hours of the 24 hour bracelet challenge and I have filmed that and I have that footage. I have put the challenge on pause and I will do the remaining 9 hours hours whenever I have the chance, probably when I'm in Moscow. So that video is still happening, it's still going up, but instead of doing like a specific designated 24 hour period where I knot as many bracelets as I can, I'm knotting as many bracelets as I can in a 24 hour total period, out of which I have already done 15. Anyway, I'm very very stressed, my flight is tomorrow at 1pm, if it doesn't get cancelled before then. I have already like half packed my bags, which are just over there, so I thought I need to chill and film a video. And what better to do than to just hang out and look at some bracelet memes. Sorry for the super long intro, I just know that some of you guys care and would like to know what is going on, so I thought I should update you guys. Alright, so there is this Instagram account, which I'm not even gonna attempt at pronouncing because I'm probably gonna get it really bad, and they make bracelet memes. There is also this account, which posts those memes and other memes, I assume. I think it's like a meme collection, some of which are by the first person, some of which aren't, I'm not entirely sure. But I thought we would look at them today. I'm gonna move so I can have more space. Alright, so this entire account is focused on bracelet memes, which I love. I apologize in advance for the terrible picture quality, but I am just making screenshots, so. Not expecting them to be good. <laughs> this one confused me because it doesn't make any sense. And I thought it might be like a bug or something, and I was like, well, I need to report that to the admin because he should know if there are bugs. And if you don't know, I'm a moderator on Bracelet Book, so I chat to the admin quite a lot. And then I read the comments, and it's an alpha, and that makes so much sense. I don't know how I didn't think of that. Either way, it's a pretty funny meme. <laughs> buying embroidery floss, buying hand sanitizer. I love this one because topical. <laughs> I am laughing, not because I am not taking the situation seriously, but because laughing is very much a coping mechanism for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, if I'm being real, the whole self-isolation thing for me isn't that big of a deal, personally. Don't get me wrong, I'm finding it very difficult because self-isolation for anyone is difficult because you don't have social interaction, especially if you live alone like I do right now. But what I mean is my entire existence is pretty much self-isolation. I stay at home during my normal life anyway a lot of the time, so it wasn't that much of a change in my daily life. I'm also very fortunate to have at least part of my income be work from home. Now I don't make enough money through YouTube to support myself entirely, but I do make some money, so I'm not completely out of an income like my colleagues at the restaurant are. If you don't know, I work part-time at a restaurant. So I'm, I feel like I'm very, very fortunate in this, and I can take this isolation as an opportunity to sort of work on my skills, I guess, and make some bracelets as well. So I see, so I'm, I'm trying to look at the positives in this situation and sort of calm myself down like that, if that makes sense. Anyway, I know that I'm just very lucky and, and that not everyone has it this easy, even though this isn't easy, but you, I hope you know what I mean. Anyway, topical memes, we like those. This one is so sweet. This is so sweet. Honestly, the bracelet making community is such an amazing community to be part of. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but to my knowledge, we've never really had any issues with each other. It's just been great. Everyone is so supportive of one another and it's just such an uplifting and beautiful community. I'm so proud and so glad to be a part of it. I mean, the only really bad thing that I can think of is like photo stealing, but that happens with pretty much any community. So, hmm. It's just, it's been an amazing experience to be part of this community. So this is definitely very relatable. <laughs> 
<laughs> this one is great. I'm not very good at it, but it doesn't matter. Definitely my motto. I've shown some of my old bracelets. If you watch my very first bracelet collection as well, I show some of my very old bracelets. They were not good. So it's definitely my motto of, you know, I'm not very good at it, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep trying and I'm gonna get better type of thing. So I like that one a lot. <laughs> I like this one. DMC thread, cheap thread off Amazon. Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. People in the comments are also asking if this is true. I mean, kind of? I think it depends on what you get. Like if you watched my video that I did on the materials overview where I talked about all the materials that I have, I talk about it there as well. The thread that I got from Amazon is amazing. It's really good and use it a lot. I love it a lot. I also really like my DMC thread that I have. They are however kind of different. The structure in which the strands are made up is a little bit different. Like the little strands that come out, like they're knotted together differently to make up that one strand. I don't know how to properly describe this, but they're kind of different. And the only thing that I've noticed is that the thread that I get from Amazon produces slightly bigger knots than the DMC one does, which isn't really an issue, but when you do alphas, you want all your knots to be the same size, make it look consistent. So that I've noticed can be an issue. But in general, yeah. But for normal patterns, it really doesn't matter that much. Yeah, they are very similar. I do very much like both though. <laughs> this one make me, this one made me laugh. There's a few of these that mention me and they all make me laugh. I like them a lot. I know this sounds really weird, but with making videos, you just sit in your room and you talk to a camera. Like it doesn't actually feel that you're talking to someone. So, so I sometimes forget that actual people watch. It's kind of funny to see someone mentioning me. And I'm like, oh wait, that's me. <laughs> Anyway, this also features three very amazing bracelet makers that you should also follow on Instagram. <laughs> oh my god. No, I do not condone this in any way. Education is very important. But yeah, I've also knotted in school and in uni during lectures and such, for sure. Not that I run back home to get it when I forget it, but I do take it with me a lot of the time. <laughs> I love this meme format. Oh, it's so amazing. Definitely true. I've had people stare at me in both Russia and England, especially when usually how I knot in public transport is I have the bracelet pinned down to my jeans. And then when I'm like changing trains or something, or just I have a short walk, I usually don't unpin it from my jeans. I just sort of grab the loose string, twist it around my wrist and, you know, just kind of walk along with it. That is when I get most of my really weird looks. So I'm gonna have to censor this one, but yeah, not very fun. For me, it's not just friends. My subscribers do this a lot too. Uh, a lot of people ask me for free stuff all the time and I don't even sell my stuff. And it doesn't feel great because it feels like people are completely disregarding your work and like the time and the effort that you put into stuff, but mm. <laughs> this one. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it a lot. It's an amazing feeling to know that I've inspired a lot of you guys. Honestly, like the entire purpose of me starting the channel was to like chat to people about bracelets because I don't have anyone in my real life who enjoys them. And it's amazing to know that I've inspired a lot of you guys. So memes that feature me like this just, just make me laugh. Look at that poor kitty. Someone put that kitty. Do your homework. Says Masha who is completely ignoring her dissertation that is due soon, but. There's a lot of memes here about bracelet book not accepting patterns or declining patterns and such. While they are kind of funny, as a bracelet book mod, I feel the need to say that we're really not trying to be mean. Like genuinely, none of us are trying to be mean and there are a lot of rules that go into accepting or declining patterns. And also sometimes we do make mistakes and you can reach out. If you wanna know more about all the rules and stuff, I did a video recently where I described all of the rules and why sometimes we decline patterns that you think should be accepted and what you should do if that happens. Leave that linked in the card and in the description. <laughs> oh, this one is great. I don't have much to comment on it apart from it just made me laugh. I like it a lot. This one. So the first one says making friendship bracelet with your best friend. The second one says learning how to make friendship bracelets on YouTube to be a visco girl. I think that's how you say it. Making a chevron using a 1212 pattern and making an alpha pattern chevron, which apparently those exist. <laughs> but on the visco thing, I had no idea it was a thing. Now, you know how last summer, like the whole visco girl trend was happening and everyone was making braces because of the trend. I had no clue. Nobody told me. I don't know if it's because I live in the UK or if it's because I'm 21 and I'm just like not a teenager anymore or if it's because at the time I didn't have TikTok or I don't know why but I had no idea that this was happening and people were coming onto my videos and commenting like oh visco girls entered the chat or just like random stuff about visco girls or, or about how like, they've decided to learn how to make this bracelet because of visco or something like that and I had no idea what everyone was talking about until about I think July which was very late into the game 
game, it clicked for me and I was like, oh, that's why. So I basically rode this entire sort of wave of success in that my channel gained a lot of subscribers in that time very quickly without ever realizing what was happening and why. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. People deemed me like the Visco Girl Queen for like making bracelet tutorials and I had no idea that was going on. So, you know, it's kind of funny. This one is so true! One, two, one, two patterns, if you don't know, are patterns that are made with mostly forward, backward, or backward, forward knots. Like, pretty much entirely, and they look like some kind of design. And they are very much a hybrid between alpha patterns, which are like, which are grid patterns made by drawing something on a grid, essentially, and normal patterns, which, which have a very different feel to them. And I hate one, two, one, two patterns. I really, really hate them because they're such a pain to make. They take so much time, so much effort, and you can't memorize the pattern, you have to always look at the pattern, which is why I like normal patterns a lot, is that you can memorize the pattern and you can just like make the bracelet. Anyway, this made me feel stuff, man. This meme, just, it made me feel stuff. <laughs> I like this one a lot too. I love it when you guys send me your bracelets, to be honest. It's, I really like going onto like my tagged pictures on Instagram and just like scrolling through them and seeing what people are posting. It's genuinely really fun. I love it a lot. So please keep tagging me in your bracelets that you've made based on my tutorials and such. I like it. <laughs> uh, I don't have a cat in normal life. My husband has three cats in total, but only one where he lives at the moment in Russia. And I'm really hoping to steal that cat and bring it to London once we have a flat that we can have pets in. So I can't really relate to that because I've never really experienced it that much. But since I am now going for multiple months, maybe I will. <laughs> maybe I will relate <laughs> this one as well. Yeah, cat hairs. I've definitely received bracelets in the mail with a lot of cat hairs in them. For me, it's mostly my hair, unfortunately, and that's kind of gross, but you know, it happens. Whenever I notice it, I do like tweeze it out, but mm, it happens and it's annoying. All right, I think I need to, oh wow, I've been recording for like half an hour. I need to put wraps on this. All right, last one. Oh, and I'm wrapping my string and it starts pulling itself into one giant knot. I hate that so much. Now like there is a trick that you can do where you sort of like insert your hand into the string scheme. I think that's how you pronounce it. And you sort of unwind it based on that. I show this technique in my friendship bracelet hacks video if you want to see that. I'll leave that linked as always in the card and in the description. But even that doesn't always work. Like it, it definitely helps, don't get me wrong, it works most of the time, but not all of the time. So sometimes, yeah, yeah, this happens and I hate it. And I did a live stream recently where I was cutting string for the 24 hour bracelet challenge. And that happened to me multiple times during the live stream and I hate it so much. All right, well, that's all the memes I have for today. Definitely follow those guys on Instagram. They make amazing memes and they make me laugh every time. They're great. Who doesn't want memes about bracelets? I mean, come on. Probably people who don't make bracelets, but you're watching me, so. Anyway, I hope that kind of distracted you for a little while. I'm definitely a fan believer in laughter being like a coping mechanism and stuff in stressful times. So I'm just trying to like chill and laugh for a little bit, you know. I'm really enjoying the type of videos that I've been making recently. I'm trying to post as much as I can during the quarantine period. So a lot of these videos are very sort of, you know, chill, laid back, sort of come hang out with me type of videos. But that's just what I'm in the mood of making right now. And I'm glad you guys have been enjoying them so far. Anyway, hopefully my flight is tomorrow and tomorrow I'll be able to see my husband and, you know, be in Russia and such. I'll keep you guys updated on that. For updates, it's best to follow me on Instagram, but I will also try to update YouTube as much as I can as well. It'll just be significantly later because, you know, filming, editing, uploading takes time. Especially now that I'm going back to my very slow laptop. I'm so sad. I got a new computer during the summer and it has been so amazing because it renders videos in like five minutes, whereas that thing takes no joke, hours, sometimes multiple, to render the same length of video. So I'm not looking forward to going back to that, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, I feel like I'm just rambling at this point. I wanna thank you guys for watching and just being here to chill with me. And I wanna give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters who have been supporting me during these trying times, especially. Super appreciated, especially now, you know? And my top supporters are Zoe, Simon, Tia, Izzy M, Izzy B, Izzy D. <laughs> Say that! multiple times. Do you know how many takes I had to do to get that right? I, I feel like I can't speak anymore. <laughs> also Jocelyn, Sydney, Misty, Lara, Anna and Gretchen. 
Super sorry if I butchered anyone's names. And once again, a huge thank you for your guys' support. It really means a lot to me. If you want to see more of me, I do have a personal channel on which I post other random life stuff. And if I go to Russia, I will definitely be posting more videos on there because I have some exclusively sort of Russian content planned for that. But on this channel, I usually post on Wednesdays and Saturdays, but during this quarantine period, I've been trying to post more. So far, it's been successful. Posted five videos last week, huh? Well done me, give myself a pat on the back. Never done that before, that was amazing. You know, gotta be proud of yourself. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye.